What's going on, everybody? Brian Power back with the Power 5 on Wager Talk TV, giving out five free winners every day, wouldn't you know? If you caught yesterday's show, I gave out four MLB totals, went three and one. You've also got Texas A&M to make the college football playoff in your back pocket. Today, the theme is going to be first five inning plays. Have four of those for you. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me on these. Let's get the Power 5 rolling with one of those aforementioned first five plays. That is the Phillies, minus 135 over the Braves. We'll keep the tie in our back pocket by playing the first five money line. But make no mistake about it, gang. I expect the Phillies to be leading after five innings in this all-important NL East showdown. Now, despite the seven-game lead in the NL East, Phils, they're only two and four head-to-head -head against the Bravos this season. Uh, they've dropped two of three in both previous series. But what you want to be doing tonight and moving forward is fading Atlanta starter Reynaldo Lopez. Do not be fooled by his 2.06 ERA because he's got a 4.40 expected ERA. Third biggest overachiever in all of baseball when it comes to actual versus expected ERA. If you're thinking to yourself, I haven't heard much about Lopez recently. Well, it's because he's been on the IL for the last three weeks. This will be his first start since returning. And speaking of injuries, Atlanta has a lot of them. Austin Riley now expected out six to eight weeks. Joining Acuna, Albies, setup man A.J. Minter, and starter Spencer Strider all on the IL. This is an underachieving team, not at full strength. And tonight, the Braves are going against Zach Wheeler, who has had their number six and two with a 2.16 ERA and 14 starts. Wheeler has also delivered three straight quality outings overall, 1.35 ERA, 0.75 whip during that stretch. So again, I'm taking the Phil's first five money line. My lone non-first five play for today's show is the Red Sox plus 105 against the Astros. I don't think this one's going to be too popular down in the comments section. That's okay. I'm a big boy, I can handle it. Look, Boston had Houston dead to rights last night, up four to two. Astros were committing errors all over the field. They finished with a season-high four of those last night. Now, I didn't mind the Strohs coming back to win. 5-4, uh, Diaz's walk-off homer obviously being the difference. Because if you listened to the Power 5 yesterday, you know I gave up the over-8 uh, in that series opener. Go back to tonight's game, though. I realize the Red Sox now 0-4 head-to-head -head against the Astros in August. Those are the only four meetings between the teams this season. But Stroh's starter, Ronel Blanco, he's winless his last six starts. He gave up three runs in four innings when he faced Boston earlier this month. That was in Fenway. Remember, the Sox score more on the road. I also like Boston starter Nick Pavetta. He did not face Houston in the previous series. That's typically an edge to the pitcher. For as high as everyone is on, on Houston right now, and I admit they're going to run away and win the West. I've been saying that for weeks, if not months. They're only three games better than Boston in the standings. These teams are more even than you think. I think the Red Sox are due to break through. Take them full game at a plus price. All right, before we get to a trifecta of games taking place out on the West Coast, I do want to remind you about that seven-day special offer going on at wagertalk.com. Today's the last day to take advantage, guys. I, many of you already have with me heading over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Here's what you get. Seven days worth of winners for just $69. Normally... It would cost you $69 to get three days worth of service. So this is like getting four days free. We did win our lone client play on the diamond last night. I promised it would be easier than Sunday's win on Texas. And it was a no sweat 3 nothing winner on the underdog A's. That was a 4% best bet. I'm now 75% in August with Major League Baseball plays rated 4% or higher. Check out my page, wt.buzz slash bp for all of Tuesday's top winners. Let's get back to the Power 5, however, and back to those first five plays. How about the Royals? Minus first five, minus half a run against the Angels. You're going to have to lay around minus 145, but worth the investment, in my opinion, as you got Cole Reagans going against Tyler Anderson. Reagans is the one Royal starter I really like. He's won three straight starts as well as five of his last six. He's fifth in MLB with 174 strikeouts on the season. He has 17 quality starts. Tonight, he's going against an Angels lineup that has scored fewer than four runs in seven consecutive games. They've lost six of those. Uh, it was 5-3. The Royals prevailed last night. Meanwhile, as most of you know by now, Anderson, the starter for the Angels, he's a guy I just don't like uh, as a pitcher. I'm sure he's a fine person. Uh, massive overachiever in 2024. 
is Anderson expected ERA 4.13. We're seeing some of that expected regression begin to set in as Anderson's now lost three of his previous four starts. That's going to continue here. We know Kansas City swings the bats a lot better at home, plus they strike out a lot less and walk a lot more at Kauffman Stadium. Guys, the Royals have a plus 111 run differential. That's second best at all of baseball, trailing only the Yankees, who are plus 116. Winners of five straight. KC now only two and a half games back of Cleveland in the AL Central. They are live to win this division. Again, I'll lay the half run in the first five with them tonight. Uh, next play. Twins, first five money line, minus 140 versus the Padres. As I discussed yesterday, this is a matchup of two of the hottest teams in all of baseball. Uh, only one could win, obviously, on Monday, and that was San Diego. Now, if you listen to yesterday's edition of the Power Five, you cashed over seven in that series opener. These teams combined for seven runs in the first three innings. We got that much-needed eighth run in the ninth. But while the Padres won five to three, they had only four hits the entire game. Tonight, they're going against Bailey Ober, who is as hot as any starter in baseball. My goodness, 4-0 with a 1.59 ERA his last five starts. Only 16 hits allowed in 34 innings to go with 34 strikeouts. Nine straight quality starts overall for over. On the other side, it's Martin Perez going for San Diego. Yes, the team's 3-0 uh, in his starts since he came over from Pittsburgh. But Perez is not a good starter, guys. He's clearly the inferior one in this matchup. He has an 0-4 career record with a 5.40 ERA against the Twins. Go with Minnesota. First five money line here. They hit lefties well. Perez is a southpaw, obviously. Want to leave the excellent San Diego bullpen out of this. That's why we're limiting ourselves to the first five. Let's wrap it up now with another matchup we talked about yesterday. Mariners versus Dodgers. We cashed the under 8.5 on yesterday's program. No sweat there as LA won by a final score of 3-0. There were only six hits total in that game. It was 0-0 after five. And with that in mind, I'm taking the plus half a run in the first five with Seattle today. Walker Bueller starting today for the Dodgers. No thanks. Did not look good in his return from the IL. Allowed four runs in three and a third innings. Meanwhile, we're getting Bryce Miller on the mound for Seattle. He hasn't allowed a run in back-to-back -back starts. That's 13 scoreless innings. Eight Different times this season, Miller has gone six or more innings without giving up a run. That's what I like to hear when betting a team in the first five, especially with that half run in our back pocket. So playing the first five in a lot of games, we cashed the total in yesterday. Let's now recap the power five, shall we? Phillies first five money line over the Braves. Number two, Red Sox full game over the Astros. Three, Royals' first five run line, laying the half run against the Angels. Four, Twins' first five money line against the Padres. That's around minus 140. Five, Seattle, first five run line, plus the half a run against the Dodgers. You can let me know what you think of those selections uh, by commenting down below, of course. I love your comments. Uh, positive, negative, neutral, whatever. Let me know what your favorite bets are for Tuesday in Major League Baseball. If there's a game I didn't touch on, feel free to ask me a question on it. I'll uh, be happy to answer uh, here on the YouTube page. By the way, I've currently got a 5% college football win total available at wt.buzz slash bp. It's easily my favorite win total uh, in NFL or college. That's why I've made it a max bet. Since December of 2022, I'm hitting 70% with college football win totals. So head on over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp, to grab it now. Uh, again, uh, if you saw Wager Talk today, I gave out an NFL win total yesterday with Teddy and Prez talking Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You can find me on Twitter at Brian Power underscore wins if you'd like to see that video if you missed it. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, what exactly are you waiting for? Not only do I drop the Power 5 daily, but every Monday through Friday, it's me and my good buddy Mark Zinno doing the morning wager you get free plays there as well and a whole lot of fun. All right, if you already have any, smash that like button. Do so now. Appreciate the support. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.